today and welcome back to Healthy Living. I'm here with Pat Lucis and Gordon Misesauer from the Department of Public Health and Social Services. We're here to talk about World Health Month happening throughout the month of April. So I know World Health Day just happened uh, last week. Can you give us a recap of some of the events this month? Yes, uh, Guam celebrates World Health Day uh, with, the West, with the rest of the world. Uh, and this was spearheaded with the World Health Organization. Uh, so it's usually celebrated on April 7th uh, globally. Here in Guam, we like to extend our celebration about a month long. And so we actually started off on March 28th. Uh, we had a diabetes strategic planning with the Guam Diabetes Control Coalition. The Guam Diabetes Association and many of our uh, stakeholders throughout the, uh, throughout the island. And then on uh, March 29th, we had uh, a wave at the ITC intersection with uh, Lions Club International District 204 and many of our Lions uh, Club members. And then on um, April 2nd, we actually had a uh, World Health Day uh, health screening uh, for our Guam community and we had an overwhelming uh, response uh, during that uh, time at the center court of the Micronesian Mall. And then on April 8th at the Dedido Sports Complex uh, with First uh, Lady uh, uh, Christine Cavo, we had the uh, the uh, Guam World Health Day that celebrated with the rest of the world. And we had uh, body combat, uh, mixed fit, uh, a lot of the exercise more on the physical activity side. Uh, tonight we're actually having the Guam Diabetes Association monthly diabetes session. And so we have a guest speaker from, uh, uh, from our dentist side on uh, Anderson Air Force Base. And uh, coming up to uh, round up our event will be our event uh, on April 22nd, uh, the launching of the uh, healthy mo uh, menu with our, our partner here, uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Awa. Okay, I actually went to the health screening at the Micronesian Wall and I must say it was really interesting. I got some tests done and I realized that I definitely need to start eating more fruits and vegetables. So really eye-opening to get tested and figure out what you need for your body. So is, you know, all of these different um, aspects of health, they contribute to our body's overall health and there are a lot of prevalent diseases in the community that can be prevented if people take measures like eating healthier um, meals, making healthier choices. So can you tell us a little bit about the launching of the Healthy Menu Project happening on April 22nd? Well, uh, what, how we're going to do it to get the community involved is to get our restaurants, Guam restaurants involved. So I'm making a presentation tonight at the Micronesian Chef Association's uh, general membership meeting tonight uh, in regards to introducing and highlighting three of our uh, star restaurants, and they are Pika Cafe, Pacific Star, and, and Jamaican Grill. Uh, their menus have been tested for nutritional value. So, so they will have these star labels that will identify those healthy choices on their their specific menu uh, and then they're going to present it to the general public on the 22nd at Pika Cafe from 5 to 8 p.m. And I think it's really important to have those kind of labels out there because sometimes I'll go out to eat at a restaurant and I'll see something on the menu that might look like it's healthy like just last mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. I ate something out and I thought it was a healthy choice but the person I was eating with was like that is not healthy at all you don't realize how much uh, fatty oils and it's put into that so this is a good it's certified it's certified really by our our nutritional team uh, from the University of Guam you know so 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 uh, with their assistance we'll be able to get the nutri specific nutritional values for each category of healthy choices so so I think uh, this is going to be a good program and and within the next six months after we've done this we're going to have a diagnostic questionnaire to see whether the general public is seeing our advertisement. Remember our colors. Remember what we're saying about healthy choices. So, so uh, we look forward to, to having a, a, a good year to, and many successes uh, over the next six months. And it's been kind of a uh, started off slowly, but it's been progressing. It started out with a no salt on the tables, and now right. it's going on to mm -hmm, this. Mm -hmm. So I know you also play a big role in the non-communicable diseases uh, consortium. So right. how prevalent, prevalent are these types of diseases here on island? Uh, so uh, just to give you our, our top four leading causes of death, uh, number one is uh, heart disease. Uh, number two is uh, cancer. Number three is stroke. And uh, number four is diabetes. And so all these uh, diseases uh, could be pre uh, prevented if uh, we address the common risk factors and the non-communicable disease consortium uh, is actually uh, that's actually their task is to address uh, smoking nutrition 
alcohol and physical activity. And so uh, we really want to want to thank the NCD uh, team for uh, taking the initiative and, and pushing these uh, things forward. Uh, in comparing our data with, with the rest of the U.S., in some of these uh, diseases, we see ourselves elevated uh, past the U.S. And um, so one of the things that we're, we're trying to do here is really uh, push a lot of these uh, risk factor initiatives. And we've seen some changes in the past few years with the efforts of the NCD Consortium and the rest of the community. Uh, we really want to address uh, NCDs where we, where we live, where we work, where we uh, learn, where we practice our faith, and where we, uh, and where we play. All right, thank you so much, guys. Is there any final words that you'd like to share with the community? Well, uh, uh, day Guam, and please take care of your health. All right, thank you so much. Well, stay tuned. After the break, we'll ha catch up with Team KWM to see how they did at the Guam International Marathon. We're back after the break.